Welcome friends to NCIX Tech Tips. Today, we have something that I am personally very excited about. NVIDIA was kind enough to send over this little monitor right here, this unassuming little monitor that contains something that makes games buttery smooth. There's actually really nothing unassuming about it. It has a huge vinyl sticker on the back that says NVIDIA G-Sync, so I think that pretty much gave away the secret. So today, we are going to be giving you guys a brief rundown of G-Sync technology, and then we are going to take the module out of this monitor and put it into a regular VG248 QE or whatever the model of this monitor is. Yes, QE, awesome, I got it. And show you just how easy it is to do if you can get your hands on a DIY kit. All right, guys, so here's the monitor. It's pretty normal looking. I mean, it's, you know, it's gaming looking. It's all like 3D and stuff. But the only real reason this particular one is special is that NVIDIA decided that it would, other than its 144 hertz 3D capability and full 1080p resolution, be the monitor to be the very first to support G-Sync. So what we're going to do is crack this baby open. And while we work on that, I'm going to give you a brief synopsis of G-Sync. The G-Sync module basically allows for a dynamic refresh rate that matches the output from your graphics card. So before G-Sync existed, there were two main modes. There was V-Sync and then there was not V-Sync. So if we turned V-Sync off, we would get what's called tearing. And that is basically to say that the graphics on your screen might contain part of the last frame and part of the current frame. And in fact, in even worse conditions, you can get multiple tears across the screen. So you're seeing three or more separate frames on the screen with objects in different positions. So they appear to be to have been completely removed from each other. In fact, if we can do some crazy VFX with this, maybe we can move part of my body over to the right. I have no idea. I'm just guessing right now. Anyway, with VSync on, you will not see any tearing. However, in order to compensate, the screen will simply draw two of the same frame whenever your frame rate dips below the refresh rate of the monitor. So VSync on means that if you have a 60 hertz display, you will run at exactly 60 FPS unless your graphics card dips to 59 frames per second just, just once, just on one frame. The performance isn't as good, and it'll draw two of the same frame, which is perceived as a stutter. The other problem with VSync is the lag. Many gamers, many gamers, Google it, VSync input lag, find playing with VSync completely intolerable and are willing to just suck it up, princess, on the tearing that occurs from turning it off for the sake of not having to deal with that lag. So G-Sync updates the screen exactly when the frame is finished and ready to be output by the graphics card, whether that's 55 FPS or 60 FPS or whatever it may be. So the refresh rate of the monitor acts as an effective maximum. So you don't get the lag and you don't get the tearing. So one thing you might be wondering is, besides this being NCIX Tech Tips, the place where we do crazy things, why would I need a guide for how to install a G-Sync module into this monitor? Well, a couple things. So number one is that NVIDIA has been giving away G-Sync modules on some forums, including my own. So I hope that the B-roll that you guys are looking at right now can serve as a quick guide for those of you who might have otherwise felt intimidated by the idea of cracking open a monitor and basically completely gutting it. But don't worry guys, it's really not that hard as you can see here. And also I've been told that NVIDIA may be offering the G-Sync module as an add-in upgrade to monitors at some point in the future. So this might be interesting to those folks as well. Now, don't worry guys, if you don't want to do the thing that you're looking at right now, which I don't blame you because not everyone's comfortable with doing that particular thing. Anyway, if you don't want to do that, then NVIDIA has told us that you can get pre-modded monitors from their selected partners, and you can check out the links in the video description for that. But you'll have to sort of um, determine for yourself whether this whole thing is worth it to you. There will be G-Sync monitors coming in the new year, and they will have different technologies, higher resolution, different panel types, for example, and it's a matter of whether you want to be an extremely early adopter, whether you buy a pre-modded monitor or whether you pick up a VG248QE and mod it yourself, but 
The one thing that I'm very sure of is that once you try G-Sync, you will be impressed and it will be hard to go back to a non-G-Sync monitor. I hope to be able to demonstrate this to you in some meaningful way at some point, whether it's a live event or whether we figure out a clever way to record it and make it so you can play it back. But unfortunately, it's an inherent part of the technology that every, every link in the supply chain needs to support G-Sync in order for you to have the experience. If you watch back someone else's G-Sync video, on a fixed refresh rate monitor, then you don't get the effect. You'll get that same frame doubling that you would with regular V-Sync. Anyway, guys, apparently there might be some kind of an in-store event. So that was sort of me talking about how I'd love to do an event, but apparently these guys are thinking of doing one with jack keys and wheels. So there you go. Follow their Twitter handles for finding out when that might be. Don't forget to subscribe to NCIX Tech Tips for more videos like this from NCIX.com.